Ben Shapiro is wrong about public health care. Before I go any further with the video, I just want to say I like Ben a lot. I agree with him on many things, just not this. So Ben over here isn't a big fan of public health care. Ben prefers the complete privatization of health care. The problem with the complete privatization of healthcare is that there will always be people who won't be able to afford healthcare. Ben's response to this is, healthcare is a commodity, not a right. On Sunday, Senator Bernie Sanders took to Twitter to deliver one of his usual messages. People go to the doctor because they're sick, get a diagnosis from their doctor, but they can't afford the treatment, he wrote. How crazy is that? So I responded snarkily, I go to a fancy store to check out a piece of furniture and I can't afford it. Totally crazy. This, of course, prompted spasms of apoplexy on the left. How could I dare to compare medical care to furniture? Was I equating the two? Was I suggesting that the necessity of furniture was somehow comparable to the necessity of medical care? Of course not, because that would be stupid. I was pointing out that medical care is a commodity, and that in life, we are often faced with commodities we cannot afford. But this mere observation caused a ruckus on the left. Necessities don't compare to luxuries, said one angry tweeter. Bless characters like Ben Shapiro for demonstrating the complete soullessness of capitalist ideology. Tweet. The furniture analogy is nice and all, but how does that help the poor people who can't afford healthcare? How does that help the lady with cancer who can't afford chemotherapy? It doesn't, and that's the problem. Unlike this lady here, cancer does not discriminate. Ben says prices will decrease when there's competition in the market, which is true, but by how much? I'm skeptical that prices will decrease by a huge amount. I mean, it has happened before, but what's the likelihood that that happens again with everything else, not just eye surgery? Very low, I would say. Even if prices decrease, who says the poor will be able to afford the healthcare they need? Now, there are obviously problems with the complete nationalization of healthcare. Just look at Canada, where you have to wait months to get a surgery, or the UK when this happened in 2018. In a January 2018 article in the New York Times, patients in emergency rooms around London are described as having to wait 12 hours before they are tended to. Corridors are jammed with beds carrying the frail and elderly. To deal with the situation, hospitals were ordered to postpone non-urgent surgeries until the end of the month. So there are obviously problems with the complete nationalization of healthcare, and that's where the two-tier system comes in. Here in South Africa and many other countries, people have the choice of either getting public health care, health care paid by the government, or you can get private health care, which you pay for yourself. If you work for a decent company with medical benefits, a portion of what you have to pay for your medical insurance will be paid by the company you work for. Now, you may ask, wouldn't having an option to have free health care incentivize people to take free health care even if they can afford private health care, therefore putting even more pressure on the government and in turn increasing taxes? The answer to this is no. The services offered by public hospitals isn't great. The equipment and facilities is not on par with private hospitals, not to mention the waiting that is involved. There shouldn't be a surprise. Anything the government runs can be run better by a private enterprise. Also, people tend not to skimp out on their health, so there's incentive to not stay on public healthcare if you can afford to get private healthcare, since the services you get from public healthcare is quite crappy. This solves our little dilemma. The people who can't afford healthcare get healthcare provided by the government, while if you can get private healthcare, logically speaking, you would get it. And this is why I believe Ben Shapiro is wrong when he argues that the total privatization would be best for healthcare. It would, for people who can afford it. If you guys enjoyed my video, leave a like and subscribe. Check out my other videos and I hope you have a good day. Garganta que ansia